Peace, family. It's cold as hell in Atlanta. Burr. I think that's a good one to buy. I know I'm a part of some other group. I'm not sure which group it is, though. So I probably can't share it. Yep, figure that out. Yeah. I'm... Peace, family. So, today's video. It's titled Silence Body Sound Silence Which in essence would be a uh, Unconscious Subconscious, conscious, and then the all conscious. And we're going to uh, take out, take our time and uh, try to get this video going. But I need to make sure I'm going the right way. Okay, all right. Maybe we're going the right way. Okay, all right, cool. So, <clears throat> in the beginning, there's silence. And in the end, there is silence. Can you explain to me what this science means? Or silence, science, silence. Mm -hmm. What this uh, silence means? Well, when you were conceived, and started to grow within your mother's womb. You didn't make any sounds that she was able to hear. She felt you, but she did not hear you. You come from silence. When you're born, you are quiet. And then they kind of wait for you to cry or make a sound. That's how they know if you are healthy or not. If you can actually acknowledge one's body. Because remember the order that I said on this video. You get silence. You get the body. You get sound. You get silence. So once the silence acknowledges the body, once the body acknowledges one's own silence, what happens when one is silent? One makes a sound. Our first sound is a cry. It's a deep thing. Now, I want you to grasp that you don't just deal with silence when you're born. You deal with silence when you die. The deep thing about this is uh, we're kind of talking about the dead. When one passes beyond this realm or dimension, you then enter a different dimension. And in that dimension, you are not able to be heard within this dimension. Unless you have certain beings in this dimension kind of uh, figure out ways of calling on you or tapping into you then you can be heard. But if you aren't one of the uh, special individuals that have been uh, crafted in one's life to be heard in one's death, then you are not included in this. But once again, in death, you are not heard. You do not hear the dead ones. 
If you heard your dead ones, you wouldn't feel as bad about them being dead. <laughs> but the fact that they are silent affects you. It affects the body. Because like I said, you have sound and then the body. Now just grasp. When you are in your mother's womb, you are silent. Silence. And then you enter one's body and learn and discover one's body. Fingers, toes, eyelids, skin. You start discovering the different aspects of you in one silence. You learn one's body in one silence. Now remember we're talking about unconscious, subconscious, conscious, and all conscious. Now if you do hear uh, the dead or your children, that has to do with you understanding true vision or true sight, which is coming through one's pineal gland or third eye. And then of course you are then interpreting what you are experiencing within one's own sounds. It is your own voice that is kind of creating the sounds of your child. How do you hear your child if they have no voice? You cannot hear your child if you have never discovered the voice of your child. The sounds that you would be hearing emitting from your child would be, in essence, your own sound. This is a deep thing. Same for those that are dead. They're still using your own sounds to express themselves. People who have uh, lost their mind kind of talk to the dead all the time, but they're still using their own sounds to do this. You see them talking to these beings all the time, but you do not hear the other beings they're talking to, but you damn sure hear them speaking. You hear their own sounds. But just grasp. I want y'all to really grasp this. So in your unconscious state, there is silence. In your all conscious state, there is silence. So if I ask you the question, is there a difference between all conscious and unconscious if both of them represent silence? Now, you know that you live again through your children, so the dead live again through the children. So if the dead, which represent the all conscious, kind of live again through the unconscious, once again, is there a difference between the all conscious and unconscious? To say I know everything would be no different than saying I know nothing. Grasp. This is what I'm trying to help you understand. They are one and the same. And if you really want to learn the science of self, you have to learn your unconscious self and all conscious self. Now, we're going to keep going. I've explained after the unconscious, you get something called the subconscious. Well, you know that the subconscious associates to body. And on a subconscious level, you are communicating 90% of what's going on with you. Now, that would represent the body. We're not talking about sound yet. We're talking about the body. The body has not discovered all of the sounds of self yet. What would be a sound of self? Cellular communication. Cells. Cellular communication. Grasp. This would be understanding the sounds of self. But your sounds, aka your DNA, have been cut off. So you have been limited to one's own sound. Therefore, one's own sound is limited within one's own body. This is a deep thing. Therefore, one's own subconscious is limited. Now, we're dealing with the body, how important the body is. Let me give you a little, uh, a little tidbit. What is a massage? What would a massage be? A massage is a form of body communication, body to body. My body is showing you my stress. Whether that's the tension in my shoulders, whether that's the inability for me to even relax, for you to be able to stretch, to massage, 
My body is communicating with you. It's telling you what's going on with me. And what are you using in response to my body's communication? Oh shit, you're using your body. So you're using your hands, which is a part of your body, and you are communicating with my body, rubbing my shoulders, seeing the tension that I might have been placed upon me. Rubbing my feet, seeing the sores that might have been placed upon me. Grasp, body to body. And the body doesn't lie. And this is why your masseuse are some of your greatest uh, uh, beings that can understand body language. Because you can say you're doing well all day, everything is great. But as soon as I touch your shoulders, it tells me a different story. Why does it feel like you're holding the world on your back? Do you feel like you have to save the world every moment? I can feel this. I'm learning this as I'm massaging your shoulders. Grass, this is the science of a massage. Now, I want y'all to really understand what I'm saying. What is the science of sound? Sound is healing sound. So what is the science of the body? Well, the body is healing the body. You have to go through the body to heal the body. Well, then you have to go through sound to hear a sound. Where is sound at in your mind? So understand when I'm saying sound, I'm talking about your mind. But how are you healing sound? Well, you use something called communication. You talk. So if there's someone on the other end for you to talk to, then this is sound on sound communication. This is sound healing therapy. I go to a therapist. I don't. I'm just giving you an idea. I go to a therapist so I can express these sounds that have been trapped away in my mental. And we're using sound therapy to understand what it is I'm saying, what it is I'm feeling, what it is I'm expressing. Sound. Sound has to heal sound. And then the body has to heal the body. The meaning that consciousness has to heal consciousness. Well, subconscious has to heal subconscious. Your body represents one subconscious mood. I got all these fucking tattoos on me. What do you think it represents? Do you think it represents my fucking uh, uh, excitement of life? Or one's pain and agony that I have endured? My markings, my scars, my story. How the fuck do you have a story if you stand still? These tattoos express my body, tell you what's going on with me. This is part of subconscious communication. What's on my body? Symbols. Is it symbols? Subconscious communication? Grasp. This is what I'm telling you. The body has to heal the body. How do you heal the body? By placing something on the body. Isn't that how the body heals? If your body is cold, don't you place things on it? The body heals the body. Sound heals sound. The all conscious can be healed by the unconscious, meaning that the dead can be healed by the uh, by the babies or the young. But you live again through the child, so that makes sense. Wow, the dead can actually be reborn, or the all conscious can on, can kind of be on the same polarity as unconscious, all for one or one for all. Grasp. The models of the things that they're saying. If silence is what you come, come, if silence is what you come out of, and silence is where you're going back into, then maybe we should take our time being silent for a second. This is the science of a pause. This is the science of a gap. But how many of you give yourselves a pause, a space, a gap? You look at your gap as a, uh, a void. When you're not even realizing that you are within a void now and look what you've created. Within your void, you've produced a body. And not only did you produce a body within this void. Remember, a womb is a void. But you've created something in this void. Thank you, queens. You created a body within this void. 
And then not only did this body come forward, it produced something called sound, which is within this body. It's called your mind. All your thoughts. Now you got to grasp where your sound's coming from. Are they coming from an unconscious state or an all-conscious state? Are you aware of your own sounds? Do you know where your thoughts come from? Do they come from you or do they come from a state where you don't even have a fucking clue? Well, I don't know. How's it work? Do you understand that there's sounds all around you? This car is rumbling right now. The rumble in this car is affecting what? The body that's dwelling within this car. My body. So I'm even listening to the sounds of this car. And the sounds of this car is fueling two states of me. Two silent states. One, an unconscious state. And one, an all-conscious state. And I'm saying all conscious, I'm aware of my destination. I'm aware of what this car can do for me. I'm aware that that that's ego, all conscious. I'm fully aware of all possibilities. Then does that really represent silence? Now they tell you an echo kind of is like no different than like a sonar it's like an orb or a ring within a ring within a ring within a ring as it echoes out i'm telling you now we're dealing with rings earth that's one ring that's the crust you go below that ring you have something called the manta you go below that ring you got something called the core we're dwelling within just simply, according to science, three rings right there. And then you have something called the ionosphere. That's another ring. Rings within rings within rings. And we still be thinking that these planets. I'm not going to go there. So. I got 12 more minutes. So. What's happening is that from silence, something must be produced. And you can also represent silence as ignorance. The baby is ignorant to itself in its silence. So do you grasp what comes out of silence? It can, come, it can at times... Resonate into ignorance. But this is a real thing. Say that me and uh, another... I'm in a relationship with a female. And something she does bothers me. So I stay silent about it. I don't speak on it. I don't address it. I leave it alone. And guess what that does to that situation? It brings ignorance to it. And this is what I worry about with us as a people that's quick to speak, but not as quick to stay quiet. Now, the reason why we don't want to stay quiet is because we will perceive our silence as ignorance. But what I've explained is that silence takes on two forms. There is silence before the body and there's silence after the body. So I want you to accept your role as a being, as a body, meaning that you don't have to accept one's own ignorance. You don't have to accept the state you were before being born or the baby state or still accept that you are in a baby state of mind. I don't know the answers. I don't know my path. I don't know my own feet. I don't know my own fingers. I don't know my own mind. We have to go beyond that. 
We have to realize that we are beyond that. We actually have obtained this body and have successfully operated me 33 years. So I don't have to accept ignorance as my silence. Fuck no. I'm willing to accept that from my silence, I can be patient enough to listen and obtain and absorb and become wise. That is where we're at in our silence. Our silence represents wisdom, not knowledge. Because if you represent, if you allow your silence to represent knowledge, you then, I, I didn't go to Princeton. Uh, I didn't have the things that I need to be successful. Or all, all this that comes with knowledge that's so limited. I didn't graduate. All this shit that comes with knowledge. That puts you into a state of confusion or ignorance. How can I, how can I be a CEO or a boss if I've never graduated high school? Don't let someone else's knowledge or system be placed upon you. Become wise. Because you have a body. That's why you could become a CEO. And if you have the same exact thing 7 billion fucking people on this planet have, what makes you any less different than them? Bill Gates and Mark Zuckerberg has the same exact things we do. It's called a body. The difference is they accept their silence based on wisdom. Not knowledge, which can then apply ignorance. How do you be ignorant in wisdom? Kendrick's, Kendrick said, silence, silent and listen have the same letters. You can't listen if you're not silent. Correct. But I want people to grasp what state of silence we're willing to take on right now. It is not, I'm going to shut the fuck up because I don't know. That is not the level of silence we're taking on now. No. Fuck that. No. We're taking on silence because we are so evolved enough that we're willing to let others that think they know what they're fucking talking about speak. That we're willing to let the ignorance come forward. Because like I said, if we don't address it, it never gets handled. So let those speak. It's okay. We are willing to be silent right now. Because we are silent in wisdom. And not silent in knowledge. Grasp. We are taking on now now but but here's the the beauty because this is how we don't get lost i said that the all conscious often represents what you will refer to as your higher self or your ego and because your higher self or your ego likes to be inferior likes to be above well how do you be above or inferior over others you make yourself seem knowledgeable better greater you take on that role you take on that personification you're not silent if you take on that role and that's the secret of the all conscious it lost itself it lost its own silence it lost the beauty of just listening and this is what i want all of us to get used to get ready for because that's the only way you're going to free yourself. The only way out is in and inside of you is the silent world. Do you hear yourself inside? Do you want to know the only time you do hear yourself? When you might put your hand on your heart? Maybe you close your ears and can listen to your heartbeat. These are the very few times you might listen to yourself. I dropped a video a while ago saying the best form of meditation is listening to your own heartbeat. Go get a death a death deathoscope the, the things that the doctor sell they have one on amazon for ten dollars get you a death a, the shit the doctors put on put it over your heart close your eyes and just listen listen to you listen to the beauty of you do you know how unique everyone's heart is it's fucking beautiful do you know how special music would be if we started to incorporate the organs did you know your organs create sounds? Do you actually know that there's devices and technology out that can capture the sounds of your organs? Yeah, that word. No, I can't fucking pronounce that damn word. 
But this is a real thing. There's devices. Now, want me to tell you what would be a uh, example of that device? It's called HARP. HARP. The whole purpose of HARP is to listen to your insides. Because guess where the ancestors are? They're inside of you. So the whole goal is to listen to you. But guess who doesn't listen to you? You. You know what you do listen to? The external version of you. What comes out of you. That's what you listen to. Now, if we do have a troll in the building, I'm here for it. If something I'm saying is funny, I don't mind you coming to light and letting me laugh with you. I like laughing too. But most of us ain't willing to uh, be that bold. Anyway. So. If you just. Gave yourself that silence. That pause. That moment. Before you do something. That you that you consider knowledgeable. Meaning that this person fucked me over. Fuck that. I'm about to fuck you up. Pause for a second before you bring that energy. Wait a minute. Because you're basing this based on something you refer to as knowledge. Knowledge is tainted. That should be evident. That should be fucking evident. How often has shit changed? Pluto was a goddamn planet 20 years ago. That was knowledge. That was written in fucking books. But now it's no longer a planet. Do you grasp what I'm saying? Knowledge is fucking flawed. Stop jumping the gun. Give yourself that moment. You deserve it. Do you know how many lives would have been saved if they would have just gave themselves a moment? A breath? Do you know what a breath is? That's a pause. Do you know what brought you here into this life? It's called a breath. You took a breath of air because before you was breathing in your mama. So what got you here was a breath of life. Why don't you give yourself a breath of life? You deserve it. It's okay. It's okay to give yourself a breath. So Kendrin's fucking laughing. This nigga. I'm just leave it alone. You know I'll, I'll fucking race spaz on your ass once. Why the fuck you wanna do this again? Who looks outside dreams? Who looks inside awakes? Correct. Now, here's what I hit one of my clients with. My client was like, I don't have the power of visualization. I was like, what the fuck do you mean? I said, so are you telling me that you never had a dream in your life? She was like, of course I had a dream. I said, then why would you say you don't have the power of visualization? What the fuck you think created the visual you call a dream? You, queen, you did that shit. You created that. That was your shit. And I said, all right, now fuck that. Let's not even talk about the dreams. I said, if I asked you to think about what you ate last night, could you do it? And she was like, yeah, I know exactly what I ate last night. And I said, did you like see it in your head? She was like, yeah. I said, that's visualization. That's it. That's it. Yeah, I got motherfuckers out here charging $500 for visualization courses. And I'm telling you to goddamn look down at your shoes and then put your head up and see if you can still see the vision. There you go. Visualization. It's right there. But how do you give yourself the power of visualization if something's always charging your vision? This is real shit. How do you even know what's yours? What's real and what's fake? Do you understand that the body cannot decipher what's real and what's fake? The body does not know what's dreaming and what's real. You know this because if you go to sleep and you dream about pissing, guess what? You're probably going to piss on yourself because the body cannot decipher what's a dream and what's real. So your body cannot decipher these things. It is your mind that's going to have to start taking control of this. And that's called sound. Once again, do you create your own sounds or is something gearing your rage? 
gearing your anger. Now, here's another deep thing. I've explained on several occasions, anger gets shit done. But what is the science of that? What does that mean? What do you mean anger gets shit done? Q, I don't get it. I got you. Where does anger stem from? Let's ask that question. Where does anger stem from? I woke up thinking I was on the toilet. Now, many would say that uh, anger stems from uh, one's own thoughts or one's own sounds, which it does. And then them sounds travel down to your spine and control your motion or movement. That's called your feet. That's called your root. So anger stems from one's mind, stem, but then fuels or gets in motion one's root or legs. This is why I'm telling you anger gets shit done because it is anger that has been shot down to one's legs or feet that gets things in motion. You don't think anger was behind million man marches And motherfucking Rosa Parks, even though a lot of that was planned fucking plants. I just want you to grasp the ideology of what they're saying. That wasn't love that got that shit done. That was anger. Angry that people are separated. Angry that I gotta fucking walk. In order for me to be equal on a bus. That's anger. It's because anger is fueling a lot of the motion here on this planet. And if people don't even understand what they're angry about, then how the fuck are we going to get past it? How does that work? How do you move past something if you ignore it? So do you think moving past something and ignoring it is going to be the solution? Or moving past something and ignoring it and it coming back in a different way, shape, or form? You tell me. How does it work? What do you think? I used to have uh, those piss and ass dreams end up peeing in bed. I mean, that comes in a lot of things. Wet dreams. It's fucking cold. God damn. Woo! Oh, I'm fucking cold. Well, I need to get some apple juice. So, I'm heading to go get some apple juice. Maybe I'll go through some of your questions. What are you sweeping though, bro? What is he sweeping? I guess. Man, I used to work at a grocery store until I got uh, kicked out. How you get kicked out of working at a grocery store? That was an interesting story. Y'all don't want to hear that story, though. But I used to be a a, 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 a ringer, whatever that is called, until the cops showed up. This planet is changing fast. Yes, it is, love. And that's because uh, your wombs are helping change it. Without y'all wombs, we wouldn't be in the situation we're in right now. Good and bad. But she ain't going to create some shit she can't fix. Grasp. It don't work like that.
Best time to shop. Nighttime. Listen, all right, it's a public service announcement. Motherfuckers is getting snatched up out of Walmart. So do not go to Walmart at nighttime. And I honestly suggest if you are going to go to Walmart, fucking go to Walmart with somebody else. Don't go to Walmart by yourself. Because I've, I've noticed that when you go into Walmart, cell phone signals really, really, really start messing up. And not only uh, do the cell phone signals in Walmart mess up, they also, in my personal opinion, have like little areas where they can like snatch or grab a person. And that ain't, that's no bueno. We ain't here for that. For sure. How you doing? Is it possible for you to put a card in for me? Uh, number? Yeah, like, yeah, right, thank you. Oh, no, no, uh, I don't, I don't have a card. I'm not even from this state. Oh, okay, yeah. Helpful, helpful. It's cold. To get away from it. I'm good on the receipt. Thank you. All right. Yeah, be safe. Sex trafficking, organ uh, trafficking. This is all planned, though. Like I said, this is all about keeping your asses in the house. So when the robots come out, y'all don't feel bad. Who about to drop a robot? Um, someone's about to drop a robot. Who is it? I think Google. I think Google's about to drop a robot that follows you around and like films you. Y'all ain't even fucking ready. Robots start coming out. Oh, it's fucking cold. So, because I'm not selfish, and, like, I be trying to give y'all the same advice I give people I care about, if, uh, if you into, uh, stocks, Bitcoin, shit like that, uh, I'm in Atlanta right now. But I be in a lot of different states all the time. So if you into like stocks and Bitcoin and things like that, and I, it's the only time I'm ever gonna drop this, so hopefully people listen. I would advise to the best of your ability to try to get you one Bitcoin. Bitcoin right now to have a whole Bitcoin, it's probably I think it's like a. I haven't even looked. I think it's probably worth like seven, eight thousand dollars for one Bitcoin. I'm not sure. It's about that. But by the time Bitcoin gets at its most optimized point, even though it's going to be bought or it's going to it's going to be bought out by another company, Bitcoin will not last. Um, it's still going to be worth probably about anywhere between thirty thousand and fifty thousand for one Bitcoin. So you can see the investment there. Uh, if you were just to spend seven thousand dollars on a Bitcoin right now and sit on it for two years, potentially three years, it's going to increase its value almost five folds, five to eight folds, depending on uh, which timeline we're pulling from. But Bitcoin is going to be extremely um, profitable before the year 2025. After that, it ain't going to be worth shit. Um, and stocks. Here's the thing about stocks. So Cash App just rolled out a way of purchasing stocks. Uh, you can buy them as low as a dollar. You can watch it go up, go down. Uh, and the different stocks that they have, are all the stocks are available on the uh, stock market currently. Um, one uh, few stocks that you should look into or be interested in would be any things that deal with what's to come. And that's our 5G network. And the things that are going to be using the 5G network 
which of course would be Tesla, Microsoft, Amazon, Apple, and Tesla. I might have said Tesla already. But these are good investments. Um, Apple's dropping in 2020 their AR or augmented reality glasses. That's going to be a big, big, big plus in their year. And also, here's another thing. These uh, companies are going to be dropping 5G compatible phones. Verizon is another uh, one that wouldn't be too bad to invest in because fi uh, 5G is going to be launched first through Verizon. Real 5G, not the bullshit that they got out like right now. So you want to... All right, listen to how stocks work. Stocks is, is, is based on consumers. So the more we consume, the better the stock is worth. We're going to consume these products because these are the products that are going to edge us or gear us towards the future. The problem is we're at an Oedipus right now or at a juncture right now where they're trying to figure out what's going to be the next big revolutionary product. We know that the first big revolutionary product in our generation was cell phones. Uh, they're trying to figure out what's going to take the wave of cell phones. Watches have kind of played a nice little part in it, but they're still trying to figure out what it's going to be. Whether it's going to be glasses, whether it's going to be techable clothes, whatever. They're still trying to figure out what that's going to be. But regardless, it's going to be based on one of those companies that I've named or mentioned. So it would be wise to uh, even five bucks. It's a dollar. So those of you who said, I can't, I ain't got it, will stop living in can'ts, won'ts, and don'ts. Give yourself that chance to that risk. You'll be surprised. What I'm telling you is based on practicality. These are the companies that are going to drop 5G, and they're going to need the phones to use the 5G network, and those are going to be the companies that you have to go with, and of course, they're going to increase. Uh, Microsoft got a new tablet coming out where you could do two things at once, so you could be on a phone call and using your phone, tablet, whatever. Like It's a lot of great stuff coming out with this tech, so get invested. Stop being so scared of it. We want to be scared of technology, not realizing that we can actually advance not only our uh, wellness based on finances. I was in Walmart. I mean, not Walmart. I was in McDonald's the other day. I don't eat McDonald's. I brought a, a friend to McDonald's. He was hungry. And um, in, in uh, McDonald's, they had like the touchscreen um, ordering system. And I mean, just naturally, I just went towards the... Uh, the touch screen and the guy uh, a old guy was sitting there and he was like can i ask you a question i was like sure he was like what made you go with the touch screen he was like you know the guy was standing right here you, he could have took your order and i was like i mean honestly i didn't even notice the guy i didn't even see the guy at at, at the fucking counter i said you know I've been conditioned, especially over the last 10 years, to use devices, to use gadgets. It was just convenient. It was just easy. It was just, that's the best way to do it. And uh, he was saying how uh, he sees how it is more convenient. He just likes the old school of the interaction. He likes that whole ability. I said, this is true. I said, but the way we're moving and what we're going towards, there won't be no human to human interaction within about five years from now. I said, honestly, there's no human to human interaction now. You got children that sit in back seats next to each other. They don't even talk to each other anymore. They text each other. You got grown families, families. I'm not talking about children now. Grown families that sit at dinner tables, don't even communicate with each other anymore. They're texting, texting each other, texting someone else or on their phone. So there's very little human to human interaction anymore. So it's either be fearful of this or figure out how to put the one race of beings, which is us, we're all one race, uh, put, which is the awoken race. If you put the awoken race next to this gadget, next to this tech, next to this uh, uh, future, because that's what this is, it's the future. If you put us next to this future, it will be more desirable because this tech will be based on the awoken and not the sleep. And that's what I'm trying to kind of explain. But that's about it. I've heard a stash. I heard a stash. Uh, but you have to you have to go to what banks are supporting these uh, these companies. Cash App is owned. Uh, 
Cash App was owned or, or, or used to be owned by the banking system that's associated with Walmart. I'm not sure who out, who bought them out. Probably Chase Morgan, Morgan Chase. Wouldn't be surprised, but I'm not sure who owns Cash App. But my point is certain, certain systems are going to be uh, here based on the support that's behind them. So you want to pay attention to, to the support systems of these new companies, of these new things. Facebook also has a couple of new things coming out as well that could potentially be uh, profitable. But um, just pay attention. Just pay attention to trends. Uh, constantly look up new technology and new things that's coming out per these different companies. And then invest smartly, you know. Uh, give yourself that opportunity to do things outside of your nine to five or your, 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 your certain way of perceiving how you receive funds or get money because there's a lot of opportunities out here if you allow them to uh, be obtained. And uh, Green Dot owns Stash. Okay. I don't know who owns Green Dot. Buy stock and things you like. Cool. Damn, I remember when it was just over a thousand. Yeah, no, Bitcoin. I mean, and and Bitcoin actually went up to thirteen k. So, and I, I I'm so mad at myself because I brought some some Bitcoin last year. I think I brought like a thousand dollars worth. And there was a time that my Bitcoin went up to about three G's. So I would have made a two thousand dollar profit if I didn't sell my Bitcoin. But spirits know what the fuck they're doing, so they made sure that I was struggling during a time that. Bitcoin was like hella low. So then I sold it and didn't get any of my profit. Lost like $300. So I was uh, scorned or angry at Bitcoin until I had the epiphany that that was just something that was spiritually trying to fuck with me. So I moved past that and then got back on my shit and started to invest. Because investments is important. You're not just investing into um, other companies. You're investing in yourself. You're using these products. Your peers are using these products. You're not just investing in a company. Like I said, you're investing in yourself. So on that note, I'm about to head out. Hopefully the beginning of this live was informative. Uh, if you missed it, I did speak on a lot of things relating to the unconscious state, uh, the, the subconscious state, the conscious state, and the all-conscious state, and how it uh, uh associates directly to you when it comes from silence which would be your unconscious state body which would be your subconscious state sound which would be your conscious state because sound is your thoughts and then the silence once again which would be all conscious but the difference is you have now mastered the science of the conscious subconscious and unconscious that's why it's considered all conscious but remember all conscious would be no different than your physical body and once you acknowledge your physical body and what your physical body is made up of which is your mental state which is sound which is your emotional state which is uh, uh, which is your, um, um, subconscious and then your, uh, mental state, which is unconscious because your mental state is unconscious until you illuminate your own mental state, but you don't illuminate your own mental state. Something is telling you how to think, telling you how to speak, telling you how to dress. That's why the mental state is considered unconscious because you are not the physical being that is actively projecting consciousness on that part of you, but you will. That is your goal. That's why it's important for you to acknowledge your silence as the physical being and not the silence in the mental aspect. Let me not speak up. Let me not address that. Let me not, let me not, let me not. That's the unconscious, unconscious that you actually have every tool within your body to succeed, unconscious that you have everything designed within your DNA for you to be right on the path you need to be. These are the things we have to discover, accept and absorb. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Uh, I'm in the Caribbean. How do I get to sign up? Uh, if you're talking about a subconscious regression, uh, my site goes live mid-January. But if you want to get a regression before then, you just simply email me. My email is C-U-E-R-E-A-V-E-S at gmail.com. 
just send an email. Uh, it's a free 15 minute consultation for all new clients. So if anybody has questions, comments, or concerns, you just simply email me or can inbox me. And uh, if you never had a regression or a session from me, I understand you get a free 15 minutes. We just set it up, we arrange it. My regressions are from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday. December is a very busy month for me. So uh, bookings is very limited based on this month, but everything's going to get back going in full throttle uh, come January. Um, also, uh, uh, Jessica, I know you're on the live. Um, just hit me as soon as I end this because uh, there's some updates to my Facebook I'm going to have you help me with. Uh, by the way, Jessica's my assistant. So my assistant helps me so much. You don't even understand. I would not be here now if it wasn't for uh, the help that I receive. So I appreciate all the help that I receive from all the individuals that have been helping me. Uh, I'm not sitting here name dropping all that because that would be pointless. Uh, but just needless to say, just reach out to me. And uh, like I have to keep saying, my Facebook is li is capped or limited. So you have to kind of go on my wall and like a comment just so you can be aware when I post. Not when I go live. I guess the live still works. People get notified. That's good. Um, thank you, Facebook, for not capping me 100%. But we still have very important posts. Like, I want to tell y'all about the dimensional breakdown. I actually have written out in full throttle all the dimensions and full description from 1 through 12. And I actually wanted to be able to start posting some of these things. But can't see it if you're not fucking able to get notified about it. It's like, what the fuck? Just so much shit is going on. It's impossible. So, on that note, I uh, appreciate you guys for tuning in. Yes. Uh, uh, yeah. And uh, till next time.